the way, it's 115 right in the tents. 1993, I put up Korean War tents. Uh, I said I was going to do it. Uh, being an old army guy, uh, I grabbed uh, 70 tents, had to go to New Mexico. I couldn't get any help from Arizona. Did a midnight requisition, picked up 70. Put them back to Phoenix. Built the tents next to the dump, the dog pound, and the uh, waste disposal of that. So, uh, we did about 140 degrees in the tents. Well, wait a minute. Our men and women, I always shut everybody up when That's they right. complain. That's right. Our men and women are fighting for our country. They're living in tents. They never committed a crime. So quit complaining about That was 18 years ago. Actually 17 years. They're still there. 400,000 have come through the tents. Wow. I've had four presidential candidates visit me, not insane, visit me in the tents. Remember Senator Dole? What did he do, sell Viagra? What did he do? <laughs> Bill Graham of Texas, another friend of mine. Governor Wilson of California. McCain. They all visited. And they all lose. Nobody wins when they visit me in the tents. say if people are running for president come and visit me in the tents I think they must be pretty good tents <laughs> no I'm I don't want it I hope there's no media here if it's here. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to give a leak my next plan but nobody watches TV here anyway do you have television with Kansas or what celebrate my uh, 17th anniversary next week in the tents. I'm very proud of them. And, uh, what I'm going to do is I already got an extra number of tents set aside for this new law if it becomes effective on July 29. vacancy sign 12 years ago. The sign 12 years ago. No one, no police or mayors or anybody ever say we cannot put people in that jail because the sheriff has no room. I have plenty of room. talk about taking away their porno when I took office, taking away their R-rated movies. Actually, I went down to G-rated. I gave them Lassie. <laughs> took away their cigarettes. Took away their coffee. Wow. I, mean, I should get the Heart Association Award <laughs> chain gangs, put the men on chain gangs 12 years ago. I'm an equal opportunity incarcerator. So I put the women on the chain gang. The only female chain gang in the history of the world. No one has ever hooked women together on a chain gang. Think of that. Have them on the streets with their striped uniforms or pink underwear. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, we do put them in pink. Um, I'll tell you the official reason. They were smuggling the white underwear out. You look under the belt, if it's white, they'd have two or three pairs. Can't tell the difference. But if it's pink, we know it's ours because nobody wears pink underwear. <laughs>